In this video, we're just going to do some examples of practicing finding which is the oxidizing and which is the reducing agent. Okay, for examples. Here we go. Before I forget, okay, your coefficients don't have anything to do with your oxidation numbers. Okay, so balanced equation or not balanced equation, it doesn't matter. You should still be able to get your correct oxidation numbers, okay? Here we go, all right, practice problem number one. Nitrogen in its elemental state is zero. Hydrogen in its elemental state, zero. Hydrogen gets a one plus, there's three of them, so that means this nitrogen is a three minus. If you need to see that written out, go practice how to do your oxidation numbers, okay? How to assign them. Now, my nitrogen, went from a zero to a minus three. It went down, it got reduced, which means if it got reduced, it forced the other thing to get oxidized. So it is the oxidizing agent, All right? So nitrogen right here is reduced. It is the oxidizing agent. Hydrogen went from a zero to a plus one, it went up went up my sliding scale, which means it got oxidized, which means it is the reducing agent, All right? Next example, okay? Nickel two sulfide plus oxygen reacts to make nickel two oxide plus sulfur dioxide, okay? So let's assign some numbers, all right? Nickel and sulfur. So what do I do here? Right, how do I figure this out? This one is rule six. The most electronegative element of that compound gets its charge, okay? Sulfur as sulfide has a two minus charge, which means nickel's gonna have a two plus. Oxygen's elemental. Oxygen's two minus, nickel's two plus. Oxygen's two minus, sulfur is going to be a four plus, right, because there's two oxygens. All right. So if I'm looking at this beautiful thing, nickel actually doesn't change, right? Two plus and two plus. Sulfur went from a two minus to a four, um, to a four plus. All right, I read that right. Sulfur went from a two minus to a four plus. So this goes up, which means it is oxidized. Oxygen goes from a zero to a minus two, it goes down, which means it gets reduced, right? The number went down. So the compound that has sulfur in it is oxidized. This dude is oxidized. The, the compound that had oxygen in it gets reduced, okay? Because this is oxidized, it forced the other guy to get reduced. So if he's the reducing agent, because this guy was reduced, he forced the other guy to get oxidized. So he's the oxidizing agent. So sodium gets a one plus, it's alkali. Chlorine, one minus. Silver nitrate, silver is gonna get a one plus. Oxygen has a two minus. So that's a six minus plus one. It's gonna be a five plus for nitrogen. Again, if you need practice doing oxidation numbers, go practice that, okay? Silver is a one plus, chlorine's a one, oops, chlorine, one minus. Don't write out chlorine, silly. One plus, two minus, and five plus, okay? So if I'm looking, sodium goes from a one plus to a one plus. Chlorine, one minus to one minus. Silver, one plus to one plus. Nitrogen, five plus to five plus, and oxygen, two minus to two minus. Non-redox reaction, okay? There was no change in your oxidation numbers. This is not a redox reaction. That is a trick question that I guarantee will be asked to you somewhere is to figure out which is the reducing or which is the oxidizing agent, neither. The correct answer would be like D, none of the above, or whatever, because it's a non-redox reaction. Trick question.
Last example, all right, O gets a two minus, so that's six minus, so this has to be three plus. Iron in its elemental state is zero. Elemental state gets zero, oxygen is two minus, iron is two plus. All right, so we go from a three plus here down to a zero. This number went down, the number reduced. All right, versus for iron, I'm going from a zero to a two plus. It went up, all right, zero up to two plus. That means it gets oxidized. So this compound is reduced. This is oxidized, all right? This guy's oxidized, which means because we do it backwards, it's reduced, so it's also the oxidizing agent. It's oxidized, so it's the reducing agent. Hopefully this is better with doing a ton of examples. Good luck, you got this.